So everyone, thank you for joining us. We have a live Q&A with our mobile audio expert, David Carnoy. I am Tara, I'm a social producer here at Cena, and I will be monitoring, so I'm not trying to be rude with this laptop here. I'll just have all your questions to ask David. Um, and this QA is going to be about earbuds, specifically the Bose Open Ultra earbuds, which are a whopping $300. Um, so yes, very exciting. Okay. So I guess I'll start off with first, how are you? Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm great. We're actually just so everyone knows we are live on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. So we have like bunch happening. So feel free to ask us all the questions you want. And yes, yeah, sorry to just call that out first. And thank you for anyone just joining us. So I'll have David first start off with like, he's had the ultra open earbuds. Actually, no, wait, I'm going to start off a little bit. Sorry. Start off a little bit about how long you've been reviewing earbuds or how, you, how long you've worked at CNET. I've been at CNET almost 24 years since 2000. Um, so I'm one of the, the early ones. I, I wasn't here for the original IPO, but a few years after that. Uh, I've been doing earbuds, I don't know, in an official capacity for maybe, I don't know, 10 years, 10, 12 years. But I've, I've been using them, obviously, for years and years. And, you know, when Bluetooth came out, when True Wireless came out and all that stuff. So I've, I've been there since the beginning with all that stuff. Awesome. And he ha he brought a bunch of his earbuds for us, um, ones that are open and also that are closed earbuds, right? Yeah, I and I, I, I also review, obviously, all different kinds of headphones, full set has headphones. I do overall probably prefer earbuds in general, though. So slight hear. preference because they're small, easy to carry around. Awesome. So let's get into the Bowls open ultra earbuds. Um, I have both, both colors here. So there's is a black and uh, a white. It's a bit off white, but they still call it white, I guess. Um, and may, maybe we'll see some other colors in the future. And there's also a special branded version of it that they that posted with the uh, kit. Oh yes, um, we have those on our socials, like the the unboxing um, that Eliza did um, of the Kith earbuds, and then we also have David's full review on TikTok and YouTube, and also shorter versions um, on Instagram as well. So those have the full review, some details, but he's here giving you some. I mean, these are. I mean, so everyone knows these are these are open earbuds, but they're kind of a you know I I don't know if they call it, totally new version of it there 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 are a lot of uh wall way on their essentially upon earbuds um but these are a, a much more refined version of that so they have just you know a real design to them some of the, the clip on ones you, you'll see them on amazon for like 30 bucks you know yeah. and and they just you you just put them around your ear uh but there's no soft there's no soft there's a little you know, piece of rubber here. And, um, the, you know, these are really designed. So they're 300 bucks. They're not probably not worth 300 bucks. Some people are, some people are buying them, but, and, and some, you know, what companies seem to be doing now is, uh, you know, they artificially price them high so that they put them on, when they put them on sale, it seems like you're getting a deal. So for instance, the, the, the noise canceling version of this, the, the quiet comfort, the, the, the quiet comfort ultra earbuds are also $300, but they're actually on sale right now for Two forty nine. So, uh, and you sometimes oh, wow. and and you you will see them uh, during the holidays, probably closer to one ninety nine. And these are really should be priced probably closer to one ninety nine. And so, but if if you want them and the, these the, this is the type of earbud you want, um, people are uh, people are reviewing them on Amazon and buying them on Amazon. So there are people willing to pay the price. Um, yeah, and to verify these open earbuds there's no noise cancellation because a Correct. lot of people are concerned obviously about you know noise canceling and like why would they pay three hundred dollars for well, something that isn't and, and the other thing is you know everyone says okay the you know like the airpods pro have a transparency mode so that's designed to let you hear the outside world and but this these buds are really for people who don't want an ear tip jammed in their ear yeah and they want to you know have awareness of the outside world and they're just you know i think they have a unique design of this type of, you know, cl clip-on 
uh, earbud, for lack of a better word. So that's it's it's a thing. It's been out there, especially I think in Asia, it's been around. Uh, but uh, you know, Bose is now sort of it's it's getting a lot more promotion now that Bose has put one out. Yes, and a lot of people. How do these compare to some of the Amazon ones that are obviously way lower priced than you that you have tried? Because he, I know a lot of people have asked about the Huawei. I may yeah. be pronouncing that wrong. Yeah, well. Don't kill me. Uh, the free clips, um, but he has not tried those, so we can't do any kind of like comparison to those new ones. Yeah, I mean, I think you know. Look, I think what you're getting, you know, again, you're getting a better design here uh, and better sound. I mean, a lot, you know, like those thirty dollar buds. Um, I just tried a new one a few days ago from um, a company that uh, I won't name right now, but it's coming out with some some of those clip-on. Uh, ear and you know, uh, you, you you'll get some distortion. There's not there's very little bass and stuff like that. So the sound quality it's it's fine. If you want to listen to podcasts, you want to go around and listen to you know very casual listening. It's you're it's fine. Uh, you're just getting. You're getting better sound with these and a and a better better design. Um, so that's and and also with these open earbuds, a lot of people have said like been curious about how much another person next to them is going to yeah. hear what they're listening to or if they're having even a conversation with someone. Um, how I know of I don't know if you've you know had someone else try them and listen. You know, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I we did test that for the and then Bose is making a big deal about how you you really don't hear any sound coming out of them. You can hear, a sl so if you have it at a high volume, you can hear a very faint sound coming out of, you know. So if I was talking to you now, you might be able to hear a very faint sound, but it's not like that obnoxious, mm -hmm. you know, like I, I can hear the conversation you're having. <laughs> so, uh, and, in your, and your musical tastes suck and, you know, you can be able to hear what people th listen to. Yeah, I've been told that sometimes. <laughs> not not okay. yours, maybe No, mine. no, maybe yeah, mine. no, maybe it's mine. okay, it's okay. Um, <laughs> So some questions that we have, we have, let's see, one person is asking, I don't know if you've tried this. I know you also tested or reviewed the PlayStation Elite headset. I know we don't have a headset here, but this is a PlayStation question yeah. um, from Instagram. Wilco816 wants to know, can this technology sync via Bluetooth with the PlayStation portal? Do you know about like how the These Bluetooth guys? is? Yeah. Um, I haven't tried it, um, but, you know, I think any any device that, that does Bluetooth audio um, should be able to to ex accept it. It has a you know way to do it. I you know with the PlayStation Portal, uh, um, you know I, I've I've used the the uh, the new uh, Elite wireless headphones from uh, the, and the buds as well. Oh yeah, and the buds too. Um, so those, so those. those are lossless. I don't know if these have a you know a true. Uh, gaming mode and stuff like that. So some people, you know, these aren't, I, I wouldn't say these are, you know, these aren't designed gaming. for gaming. I mean, they're more, I would say, in fact, they're more designed. They don't, they're not marketing them as sports buds, but mm -hmm. there really are, you know, if you want to go running with them, they really stay in your ears well. I mean, that's that weirdly, I mean, I think this whole open earbuds thing came about, I mean, I've got a bunch of them here on the table. Yeah. Um, so various brands and various versions of them. And a lot of them, you know, are designed to go, around your ear like the you know the power beats but they're open they the speaker sits on top of your ear are these the power beats uh i don't know oh. these are but these are various versions um of okay. and, and then we had the sony you know we had these weird little sony ones that had the the ring in the middle these the link buds um and mm -hmm. so that was kind of a unique design um you know a couple of years ago they came out and they're like wow that's a cool open design um these the, the bows definitely sound Better, better than the than the Sonys. They just get, you know, the key thing the key thing about the Bose is they just have more bass, mm. and especially in a, in a quieter environment, uh, they do sound um, pretty close to, you know, regular good sounding earbuds, which is a lot of the times not the case with these. You just when you have an open earbud, you just lose you lose that bass. Um, so, and we and speaking of some of the other ones, we have an, another uh, question hmm. that's kind of relates to that too, um, from YouTube. YouTube. Uh, David H. Um, he said, what do you think, but why do you think Bose decided to make these buds considering the previous sport open earbuds, yes, the ear hook, yes. ear hook ones? And I think you've tested. You've yeah, tested I did. And, and they, they were actually, Bose was sort of at the forefront of that open design and they, they have the, the frames, the, you know, the, 
the glasses that have, you know, the open audio. And then all of a sudden everyone started making these. And I think, you know, that one actually had, it actually did have good sound. The design was, um, you know, it wasn't super comfortable. Um, it had, it had kind of a hard, you know, ear hook and then it had just a kludgy, um, charging situation where you had it like the, the, it actually wouldn't <laughs> charge in a charging case. You had to, you know, plug it, in. It, it had like a cable and it was sitting sit in kind of a dock. It had like a, you know, it, it was that that was a weird situation. So these are much more convenient. Yeah, these, the these are like regular. Case. These yeah. are like regular earbuds. And I and I think you know, as I said, there was you know, I, I, there's just like I think a moment with earbuds where um, everyone had you know, earbuds are kind of at this point really mature. They're you know, so they had a you know, all, all those in-ear ear earbuds out there and they're like, okay, well, well so, someone decided, okay, we're going to try open earbuds just yeah. for a different type of earbud. And so... Something unique Yeah, too. I mean, and even... And yeah, yeah the design is like something that you've said in your review that it's very unique. You've like not really seen too many. Yeah, I mean, these, like these are the shocks and they did a good job with the... Um, I don't know if you can see that, but these are, you know, these are over, you know, around, you know, kind of the ear hook design. You just put them over your ear. You can... You see that? Um, so, and these are really comfortable for this type of, and, and these are also expensive, by the way. So these are also appro approaching. As, as expensive or not yet? What's that? I don't know if, uh, you, you may not remember the actual price of these. these but I think, they're I think they started close. like 279 or something like that. And, and then, but so Shox actually makes, started, was making bone conduction headphones and then decided to make this open, you know, air. Sometimes they call it air, uh, audio air technology where it's but it's basically a speaker sitting on top of your ear and you know they're really good for sports and uh, they're really comfortable i'd say the bose um sound a little bit better and you know the other the other thing that people you know the some of the voice calling capabilities um we i actually thought they were the bose were pretty good um and our our sample call in the youtube video for instance it sounded you know sounded pretty good people could hear me clearly i was in a very noisy environment but then some people you'll see online you know i could you know people couldn't hear me this that i don't you know again a lot of these factors are you know it could be your cell phone service it could be anything when you're testing these things mm -hmm. so it's very hard to tell i think they can get a bose can get a little bit better both with its uh quiet comfort earbuds in terms of the the yeah there's always the 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 buds have to pick up your voice clearly mm -hmm. and then um also do noise reduction of the sound around you. So that's pretty tricky. It needs, you know, algorithms and all that stuff. So they definitely can improve that where when it, the clarity of your voice. So hopefully that'll get a, bit, a little bit better. But these were these were pretty good for me, maybe not for, for yeah, everyone else. That's true. And then, um, yeah, and I feel like it comes down to preference too. Like I feel like I, I don't know if I'd ever use open earbuds. I don't mind things in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's bad. But um, okay, so someone... Uh, let me see. Uh, from uh, Instagram, Bass Minick asked, sorry, if I'm mispronouncing anyone's usernames, I'm trying my best here. Thank you. And thank you to anyone joining us, just joining us for a live Q&A with our mobile audio expert, David Carnoy. Um, but uh, Bass Minick asked <laughs> if we could show like an up close of these for like Instagram and TikTok. We're trying our best, but like I said, we're on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram live streaming. If you want to show like the I, I don't know, like how they yeah, expand. So, These are can, the Bose open. Can, uh, I'll try to show. They they basically have this. Open. They basically have a this rubber piece in the middle. Can you? I don't know. And should, then, I, should I walk up to the camera? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. And do you want to clip and them the, onto our, your ear? Yeah, too, and um, there's this little barrel, and it has um, it has a controller on the top, so it's a physical controller. This is the right earbud, so you basically just. It's playing yeah. some music now. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I can actually hear it just a wee bit. Like, I don't know if our mics can pick it up, but I could I could hear. I can't make out whatever was playing, but I just heard like... Sh -sh 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 -sh. <laughs> so you basically put it on... Uh, you can see there. So you put it on your ear, and then you kind of find a place. The sound changes a little bit according to its, you know, where the butt is. And it's, it sits just outside your ear canal, and then you can move it around. But it's super comfortable. And the idea is you can, you know, you basically can wear it and almost forget about it. They're they're lightweight. They're only they're a little bit heavier than the the AirPods. And your your chair also spins a bit if you yeah. want to, so, so you're not like breaking your neck. <laughs> and that's probably uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I'll put the other one on so it's my better side. You know? <laughs> but basically, you know, you slip it on. And then some you make some, some adjustments on Instagram. Dem Dem Nine is asking uh, since it cl clips and hangs on the side of your ear, does it cause ear fatigue if you wear them for a long time? Like, what's the longest time you've tested wearing these? I've I've sat at my desk with them for for a couple hours, and um, you know, I think every once in a while you might want to you just go like that. But the idea is, I mean, I, obviously everyone has different ears, and maybe if you have huge ears or you know, tubes, but but. I think if you, you find a spot on your ear, um, it doesn't, there isn't any pressure. And so, whereas it, and it, you know, some of the harder, the, some of the cheaper models out there, um, it just kind of clips on your ear and you actually have to put it, start it way at the top of your ear and kind of slide it down with some of these cheaper ones. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it, it actually, I've worn them, they felt, they felt fine. I mean, some people, some people say they, I mean, the good thing is, uh, you know, some of the people here wore it with, uh, with earrings and doesn't get in the way of, of glasses. And, um, I think, you know, it, it is really designed, they, they want you to wear it around all day. I mean, what, a couple of things they could have done that would have been helpful is like, uh, buds like the Sony and now Apple have this, you know, kind of conversation mode where, you basically, if, if you have it activated, if someone walks up to you and starts talking to you and you're listening to your music and you start talking, it recognizes that your, um, oh, your voice, and then it pauses your music for like however long you can say, like 10 seconds, 20 seconds, then you can have a conversation. These don't, these don't do that. That would be really helpful. Uh, you can just, you can, you can put, press the button here and to pause you. It's, it's well positioned. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm mean, I think there, there's some things you know, maybe they'll add some features along the way, uh, mm -hmm. but it's you know, it's it's missing a few things. It doesn't have multi-point uh, Bluetooth pairing right now. But neither does to poses other headphones. Mm -hmm. um, the charging case doesn't have wireless charging. Uh, oh, so okay. people, they, these are things people expect from three hundred dollar earbuds. Uh, I think they're they're supposed to add the, the multi-point. Mm -hmm. um, these have a Qualcomm chip, and um, I think it's possible that some of the Qualcomm can be a little bit difficult to customize the software for. So some some I've had some some other earbud some companies like Jabra have had some problems. <laughs> so I, I think hopefully these features will be added in the future. And like for these ones, someone uh, from TikTok Johnny ninety two asked if it charges via USB C or its own proprietary charger. Yeah, they, just it's just USB C. Yeah, and they are all like they are and all just, have their just, own charging cases, which is nice. But the Bose, the first version of Bose open earbuds did not. He was talking about that one earlier. That one had to be, do you know the name of those Bose ones? That uh, had to be. The open, their open, sport open earbuds. Sport. Yeah. They had to be charged yeah. actually like individually. Yeah, I mean, I think, and you can see the difference. Cord. These are, these are a, a set of um, Turn it this way. Soundcore by Anchor. I don't know if you can see that, but these are ear hook style. So they're, they're charging case. If you have the ear hook style, the charging case tends to be a bit bigger. And then these, you can compare the size, you know, it's a smaller, you know, it isn't, it isn't quite the size of the AirPods charging case, but it's, it's a very compact charging case. Um, so that's, that's another benefit of the design. So, I mean, they, they are getting some of these cases, you know, the Shox, Shox has done a, be a better, you know, also done a pretty good job with their charging case. And they have the, they have the buds, the, uh, the over the ear style. And someone from TikTok asked, are these meant to compete with shocks? TikTok Mac Villian. Villian. Yeah, these, these, these the, the, the ones probably, you know, at least on YouTube, I saw people wondering, hey, do these sound better than the shocks? And, and these are, um, again, I think the bows sound a little bit better. Um, these are, these are pretty good. They're also really expensive. They're very comfortable. And it's just a kind of a question of, uh, design. They both stay on your ears equally well. Um, and then this is not necessarily related to, um, but for anyone just joining us again, we're here at a live Q and A with David Cardinoy, our mobile audio expert. I'll do that every once in a while because people <laughs> just join us at different times, just in case. Um, but you, he's been with us for over 20 years and he's been reviewing earbuds and headsets, headphones, like mobile audio, um, for, not the full 24 years, but no. uh, uh, many, many years. <laughs> yes, I can't, I can't I even remember. <laughs> I don't remember the exact moment I said it started, but I've been, I've been also using these things for a long time. But um, from TikTok, this was an earlier question at the start of the live was, um, you've covered a lot of earbuds and headphones. Do you have a favorite? Um, 
I, you know, I'm always sw switching off. So uh, <laughs> I guess I, I came to work today with these, the Bose, uh, the Quiet Comfort Ultras, just because it's on the subway. Um, I use the Sony's, um, have the AirPods here, and I, I, I do like, I, I tend to gravitate towards more expensive buds just because I have access to them. But I, I do, I do try, I do try to create best lists of cheaper buds. Like, and, and it, you do, you can get some pretty good buds now for, um, you know, even 50, 50 bucks. I mean, these, these are coming out. I don't know if they're out yet. Um, this was an early sample from a company called Basis or Basus. B A S E U S. You know, uh, maybe uh, hard to see, but they find um, it's a brand you'll find on Amazon. And these these are actually. Do you want to show them? Yeah, to I don't know if you can see them, but they're basically, you know, over. There's this is a you know a value brand you can find on Amazon. They're they're an ear hook design, and I think they're coming out next month. I don't know if I'm supposed to be showing them, but I don't think the company will care that much because uh, publicity is always good. Um, <laughs> but these are, you know, these are this is an ear hook style open earbud, uh, kind of cool looking, it's kind of sporty. Yeah. I think it's only like 50, 60, I think it's like 60 bucks it'll be at the, in the end. So, you know, it's, uh, these there, there are a lot of these out there. And this, this, you know, I think some of these value brands are, you know, obviously the charging case is a little bit big. Mm -hmm. I'll put it back in, but they almost look like futuristic with the yeah. uh, the lighting on the in the middle. Um, like so eyeballs. look and... look for stuff like that. I'll I'll probably put this on a best list when they actually you can actually buy them. This is a pre production sample. Um, I don't think I signed an embargo or anything. So, <laughs> <laughs> and you can check out all his reviews and best lists on CNET.com. And he's also like done multi uh, so many videos for us that you can check out on any of our socials and off and on our YouTube as well for like the more long form um, reviews. Um, I don't know. I uh, have a question here, not about the bows. I don't know if you've tried these, but the Nothing Ear Two. Yeah, I, I actually almost brought them. Um, what are they, what are they, what are they? <laughs> so he has them. He has, he's tried them. He just like he can only carry so many, you know. <laughs> I mean, I think um, you know those. Are, you know, they're uh, they did a great job marketing them. They're you know good solid buds. Uh, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say they're you know spectacular buds, but they're I I, I like them and uh, you know they, they're, some some of the nothing stuff was actually the the original nothing buds actually died on me um that was but i probably had a pre-production sample um so who knows about that but then they they made another they made an they made a um an open version and a, a noise isolating version so they also have they also have the, just to be clear the standard mm -hmm. airpods are open earbuds so that's like a tip that's also the the, the, that was sort of more designed for people who didn't want that ear tip jammed in their ears. So, the I mean, I, and, and just to be clear, and, and also another thing, I mean, one thing you should know is that these really are not good for noisy environments. So, you know, I, I've worn these on the subway. You can hear your music, but it, it gets for it, the open. All, you know, the open, all open, open earbuds ears. get if you know they're designed so that you can hear the outside world. Promise, mm -hmm. you, you, you know, when when you're on like the subway or something, you really, um, it really does. Um, Screw up. For the op the Bose open, the ultra open earbuds, Ugh, so many names, so many buds. Yeah. Um, uh, from TikTok, Rub Ner Nerdsten asked about earlier, sorry, that I'm just getting to this now, but about battery life um, for these. Yeah. How is that? So it's, uh, it's rated at 7.5 hours um, at moderate volume levels. I don't know how loud you listen to your earbuds, but if you listen to them really loud, you're gonna, that's going to drop off. There's also this kind of immersive audio mode that was, that you can kick in and it's supposed to it kind of, and these actually have head tracking. Um, so it's supposed to, you know, kind of, it's, it's a little bit weird in these because it's, it's designed to sort of expound, expand the sound stage and, you know, feel like more like, um, 360 audio, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it, but it's, it sounds, it, the effect is more pronounced on the, the noise, the, the QC ultra earbuds, um, than these, but that drops, if you engage that, that drops the battery life down to 4.5 hours. So 
most people probably won't engage it, but it's, it's like st standard stereo mode. Then there's a still mode with that immersive audio mode. So the, the, the audio stays fixed, but, and then there's a head tracking mode where it follows your head movements. So oh, wow. um, there, there's, there's probably some more stuff these earbuds can do that um, you know, they haven't, there's probably going to be some firmware upgrades um, that hopefully, you know, possibly add features. And typically that happens that they just, the companies come out with the, you know, the, even, even with the AirPods Pro too, they, they, they've been adding features along the way. Gotcha. Yeah. Cause go back to that. The, so, um, I, from Instagram, future automation design, um, asked earlier, great to see David. So <laughs> <laughs> how would you compare the Bose? He didn't, he didn't ask specifically, but maybe, you know, which one he may be asking about to the AirPods Pro 2? Um, I think, you know, the, I like, I like the bows just because they have this, um, you know, these are the, these are the quiet, these are actually the quiet comfort twos, not the ultras. Um, so, so the, these are the previous version. Bose did something weird. They brought out a new, a slightly modified version of this a, a year after the quiet comfort twos came out. Um, but anyway, they, these have this rubber two, it's a two piece design and they're really comfortable and they stay in your ears really well. The big problem, the, the major issue with the Bose is like they're kind of beefy, right? Mm -hmm. So they're not as felt as the, the AirPods. Um, I would say the Bose have, you know, a little <laughs> it's a, everyone always compares things to Apple and AirPods and you know iPads. I mean, I think the, the great thing about the AirPods is the AirPods Pro Two is they're just these, this is actually the USB-C version. Um, they're just really light and uh, they you know for how lightweight they are and small, they're they're it's just really impressive what they can do. The Bose is going to have a little bit better um, noise canceling, and I think they may be sound tad better mm. um they sound a little better all this stuff unfortunately with noise isolating earbuds is so dependent on the on the seal that you get so you'll see like on amazon like um someone will say like these these earbuds sound great and someone, and someone will say these uh, i was totally underwhelmed by the sound they suck usually <laughs> it's because uh they just didn't get a good fit with the ear tips if mm. it, as long you know if 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 they're good earbuds and someone's saying they sound fantastic um yeah it usually it's just so dependent with the, the difference here with these open earbuds is the it, it, the fit doesn't matter so much they're open um so mm. you know any open earbuds you don't you're not dependent on that seal to get the best sound quality you might, you're going to lose, you know, you're not going to get quite as much bass with these um, in any open earbuds. But. That's true. I like never really used ear tips. I just let the <laughs> earbuds always just fall out of my ear. <laughs> and I was like, wait, no, that's not smart. They give these for a reason. Um, from TikTok, we, to kind of go into that, because you talked about, you know, having the tips. Um, Lava Bun asked, are there any good ear earbud brands for kids or people with smaller ears? I don't know how you would describe your ears. I I'm sort of medium. Medium. I don't know mine. <laughs> you, you claim yours were really small. I thought my ears were really yeah, small, small, but I don't know. Some people have to, it just depends like with your, um, your ear canal and stuff. I mean, that's, that was, the, that was the funny part. There were people that had the AirPods, um, the original AirPods and the AirPods two, those were the, the hard buds. Right. And then Apple changed the design with the AirPods three. So you had people with really small ears that, the AirPods, um, original AirPods and the AirPods 2, they fit perfectly and people could run with them. They, they would never stay in my ears. Mm. And then they moved to the AirPods 3 design. They were a little bit bigger, better sound. They didn't quite um, uh, fit those people with super small ears. So I mean, I, they, there are earbuds um, out there that uh, are a little bit better for people with small ears and they'll see um, sometimes yeah. Um, but I mean, I think, uh, they, when Apple, one of the things they did with the AirPods Pro 2 is they added that extra small ear tip. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that adding the ear tips can make it fit your ear better. Uh, but it's just a question of like the size of the bud and, I, you know, kids, it seems like kids will, there isn't like my kids will wear whatever. 
you know, mm-hmm. it doesn't, there isn't any necessarily any special, you know, thing you can buy, you know, so, sometimes they'll have, you know, on-ear headphones instead of the over-ear headphones that are a little bit, you know, smaller. Um, and for most, for most parents that are looking for stuff for their kids, they usually want to get them cheaper stuff just because you they lose they it, lose it or, <laughs> you know, or just, just cause like, Hey, I don't need to spend $300 on my kid. Yeah. Although th- a lot of kids at, at my kids' high school have those AirPods Max Maxes that cost. Gosh, a what lot high of money. school are your kids yeah. going to? Well, yeah, but no. It's amazing. I never. Th- I I just didn't think that many. And you, and you can probably bra- blame Apple um, for the cost of these earbuds too, just because you know once they start, you know, Beat started Beat started with the three hundred dollar headphones and mm-hmm. and Bose, and now. You know, Apple showed that you can actually sell headphones for five hundred forty nine dollars. They, they do. They usually are on sale for like four seventy nine, mm-hmm. but that they can sell them for that price. So three hundred three hundred cheap compared to the. So AirPods with price. the talking about that, do you think that Apple? Because um, do you think Apple's going to bring out new versions of the AirPods Max anytime soon? Because those have been around. They haven't like that's like usually Apple updates like their products every year, you know, with bringing new versions, but those have been the same since, I don't know when they came out. Maybe, you know, the exact year they did, but I know there has. Yeah. Been yeah. New they ones. definitely, I mean, I think it's likely this year. Um, I don't know what they're going to do with them, but there's obviously some, uh, chip, um, new chips they can put in them. They need some of the features that are in the, the AirPods pro two. Uh, that that aren't in the AirPods Max, and and they're, I think they're going to do something. Um, you know, they could do something with, uh, you know, anything from. I don't think they'll make them. I don't think they'll make them any cheaper. They were talking about. It'd be nice if they made like a, you know, one with that had plastic instead of uh, oh, lighter gotcha. and things like that. But you know. I, I don't think they're going to ever do I, I think it's just, it's more likely that it's going to be sort of like a AirPods Pro going to the AirPods Pro 2, I suspect. Maybe they'll add into some new colors, mm-hmm. um, but I think it'll just be performance uh, type upgrades and, and new chips, And but who knows? And maybe new colors. I mean, that's the biggest thing that I've also seen people asking what kind of colors they would come out with, too. Yeah. Um, but I think, I think that um, they, they brought out new airpods every year um but i believe that the airpods pro 2 usb c were the 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 new ones for last year i don't i can't remember anything else that was new last year except that so (laughs) the big thing um 2023 was usb c they just changed so many (laughs) so many of those they had to yeah they had no choice um let's see about let me see. actually um someone also asked to go back because i know we were talking about the bose open ultra earbuds but you know we have a lot of earbuds he's tested a lot earbuds and headphones so we just talk about everything here if you have questions let us know in our comments uh TikTok, instagram and youtube that's where we're checking them <laughs> and we're live right now um but with the bose open ultra open earbuds have you tried using them on a plane at all um, Any thoughts? I did. I just I just came back last night at uh, three a.m. on plane. So um, thanks for being here. <laughs> uh, and yeah, they're not. They're you wouldn't really want to use them on a plane. Mm. Um, I mean, look, you see people wearing AirPods, regular standard AirPods on a plane, and um, you know they are what they are. But ideally, you'd want noise canceling earbuds. These these are to be clear, these are not noise canceling earbuds. Uh, they have some noise reduction for calls, um, background noise reduction. But um, yeah, so you, you can hear your music, but it's not it's not ideal for a plane. As I said, anywhere that's in a really noisy environment, you, these are just not not the earbuds you want to use. True. And have you? Um, people are also curious with these about sweating, like if they're working out. Yeah. Have you tried? Or maybe I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I run with them. I've used them at the gym, and they're IPX4 um, splash proof, so they're fine for. <laughs> Working out, I I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if Bose did um, a sports version of this that you know maybe had you know were orange color or something and and had a little bit more. There 
who are obviously more ruggedized, but it wouldn't shock me if they, they did that in the future. But right now these are fine for, mm. for working out and running. They're, they're especially good for running because they don't, you know, fall out of your ears. And uh, we had a lot of head shakes here in the, in the office <laughs> and, uh, but they, they clip on really um, securely. Yes. And, and if you want to see those tests with all of our different colleagues, that's on all of our social platforms and the, his full review on YouTube. It's like a 10 minute um, long <laughs> review has so many details too. It's great if you haven't checked it out already. Um, and from Instagram, Rever one Skla, sorry. Um, people are asking, <laughs> are there any wipe functions with these wipe, wipe functions in terms of wiping i guess or i don't know maybe like how you use them oh to swipe to swipe like swiping no, these have, i mean these have it has a physical button so you know you you click um you click it uh to pause your music you double click it to uh you know advance the track uh triple click you know to or i think the one thing is it does have volume controls but the the volume control is a little bit weird to do. It's like double tap and then hold. And so I think Bose, you can program, you can, there's a shortcut you can do for, that allows you to go to the immersive audio mode or, or you know, stereo and change that. I think they should do like a shortcut that makes the volume control just like push and hold and mm. and the volume goes up. I mean, some That's one thing I think people would use more on these than changing between immersive audio and stereo. They would just like to be able to, you know, change change the volume. So it does have volume controls, but it's a little bit tricky to, to gotcha. do. And it seems like it's mostly not controlled by any kind of swiping feature. It's, it's mainly. It's, it's physical it's touch. It's mainly. No, yeah, you have these to press are, the does, button. It does not have fit, touch controls, which a lot of people actually prefer, yeah. especially if you're, you know, running and stuff or you're just... Uh, um, it's a pain in the ass to, to use the swipe controls. And I'm out always at, with my earbuds. I'm always accidentally like touching yeah. them and I'm not meaning to um, in that way. Um, but from our Sharad Srin Evas from <laughs> YouTube. Okay, listen, I'm just trying here. Um, hi, do you see any multi-point update for Bose Ultra Open Ear? Yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be, they, they've talked about it for a long time. They keep talking about it. So, <laughs> I mean, I think, you know, it's one of those features that, um, and I've I've only used these in a limited capacity with uh, with com, you know computer. They do have manual switching that's pretty good. So you you know you pair it to two different. I paired it to an Android phone. I paired it uh, with an iPhone, and you can you know you you manually switch between the two, um, and it's and that's pretty good. And I think you know with 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 Bose and you know some of these other companies, they. They don't. Um, they want to get it right, and they don't want it to be. They've already done a firmware upgrade. These some of the some of the or there were some. It was a little. There were some bugs um, when they initially sent these out, and you can see on Amazon that some of the comments are like, "Hey, they're you know my you know my right ear bud cut out." I didn't have any problems, mm -hmm. and I, then I updated the firmware. So there's already been a firmware update, but you know I think. You know, it should. They they keep telling me it's coming, so <laughs> I'm I'm waiting, and uh, I think I think I think we'll see it later this year. But you know, multi point is one of those things that 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 should be there. I don't. For some people, it's more essential than others. The you know, again, the idea is you're you're on your computer. You know, you're 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 doing stuff on your computer. You're maybe you're um, you know on a video conferencing, or whatever, and then a call comes in. You can take take the call from your phone easily. Mm -hmm. So. And um, to change gears a little bit, um, to be more generic, um, from TikTok, No Fair uh, asked which earbuds are best for gaming. I don't know how much gaming you do. Do you do a lot of gaming? Um, not. I don't. I don't game on my phone too much anymore. But I mean, I mean, I, I think you know. I, I've just reviewed um, the uh, the Pulse um, Elite Wireless for the Sony Pulse Elite Wireless for the. PS5 and you know various other devices um, and the, also the, the the buds the Sony you know so if you're it just depends you know I think um, you know there are a lot of buds out there with you know low latency modes and you know I, I don't you know most gamers it's the serious gamers it seems use over headphones, the year yeah. you know over the year there's been more 
earbuds coming out lately that are geared towards gamers. Um, but, you know, I think, you know, with some of these games, I mean, the cool thing about the Sonys um, is they both in the earbuds, um, the new and and the um, and the over ones, they have um, uh, planar magnetic drivers. And those are rarely felt. Those are high end drivers that really make they're actually really good for music listening. Mm. So, I mean, I think any there's just so many gaming headphones out there and it's really hard to say which which one is best. Um, but most of the ones I've I actually have my my kids who do a lot more, um, you know, Fortnite and, and um, Rainbow Six and oh, they're, I, I try to get them off and uh, <laughs> So I have them do a lot of the testing for that, and they they, come, they like the ear, the headphones they don't, more they don't, than the earbuds. I don't earbuds. know. They don't really care that you know. It's just like you know, they're not um, you know as long as the people can hear them clearly and they can hear, but they're not you know you know you got you have a boom microphone and mm -hmm. it's pretty hard not to hear people. And I just think it's you know there are some higher end models that that I, I always test them for music listening because I figure if you're going to get, you know, expensive gaming headphones, they, they should be good for other things besides yeah. gaming and they, you should be able to use them, you know, for Zoom calls and work and everything. So uh, there's just, there's a lot of them out. So it's really hard to declare. I did, again, I did really like the the new Sony's, um, the, the Pulse Elite uh, wireless, and but partially because they sound... They sound so good for uh, music listening that and so for gaming soundtracks you know music's very important in gaming as well these days so mm -hmm. they also sound really good for um, those music soundtracks in games yes I'm I mean I don't know too much about gaming I've like never game before but, <laughs> <laughs> but um, and uh, some more um, questions about people just are so curious about what your best opinions are on the best best um, for earbuds. But um, from TikTok, Usman Ahmed eight five six as the best ANC earbuds. You know, I, I for pure noise canceling, I would say, if you're just talking about the noise canceling part, um, I would say, you know, the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultras. Um, probably have the best pure noise canceling. It's, uh, again, that's also largely dependent on how tight a seal you can get. Um, mm -hmm. But the the Sony um, WF-1000X Mark V or M5 as some people <laughs> call it, but um, those are also have great noise canceling. And um, Apple, um, the AirPods Pro 2, if you get a really tight seal, are also have really good noise canceling. So I would say, Those so, yeah, I mean, it just, um, and there's, you know, there's other ones out there, but I, th I think at this, at this moment, um, it's uh, Bose, Sony and Apple who do the best pure noise canceling. And what, for someone that doesn't want to spend like over a hundred dollars on noise canceling, obviously the best of the best noise canceling earbuds, is there like a more affordable version that you said you think is like the best kind of noise canceling that you've tried, like an Amazon brand or something like that? Yeah, I mean, I think I think it's some of the stuff is um, is okay, and there's there's lots that we we you know we talk about brands like Earfun, Earfun and yeah. even that. Um, what about the the sound peats, you've, you, those are the ones. Yeah, sound peats, um, this, this base, basis, basis. Or, um, this one has some noise, um, really cheap noise canceling earbuds that actually have reasonable noise canceling. So it's just like, um, you know, there's a level there's, they've gotten the, the cheap stuff has gotten reasonably good. It's not, it's not great. Uh, if you want great, then you have to. Then Bose, you have to, Apple. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's other. You know, I think you know, and some of the other. You know, uh, the Beats, which is owned by Apple. Yeah. Some they're they're they actually do their noise canceling, um, pretty good too. And there's there's lots of stuff that's, um, you know, you you always have to balance like the noise canceling with the sound quality. You know, and you know, I, I like Sennheiser earbuds, mm. and um, they're coming out with some. You know, we're going to see some new earbuds from them this year. So there's there's lots of um, I've reviewed uh, 
you know, techniques, mm -hmm. uh, Panasonic techniques that sound really great. The noise canceling isn't quite as good, uh, but there's, but I, I don't know how much, um, I don't, I'm curious how much better they can get this stuff. I mean, I was, I was wearing these bows um, on the subway today and, uh, you know, have listening to music, I could barely hear the train come in. You can, you can hear stuff, but it's, it's impressive how it really muffles everything. Gotcha. And like, um, and with this, the ultra open earbuds, because yeah. that's initially what we were talking about, because they are like the newest product on the market for earbuds, right. right? Would you say right now, at least, um, uh, how many devices can be connected at the same time with them? Uh, that was a question from YouTube, Abdul Rahman Albar. Yeah, you can, I think you can connect. I mean, technically you can connect, I think, you know, eight or something like, you know, it's, it's multiple, it's, it's certainly many, but you have to manually switch between those devices. So the multi-point to be paired simultaneously to two devices at the same time and kind of have audio automatically switch between the two devices that these don't have these that yet, but I think you can, um, I've only paired two of them, um, maybe actually, um, three, and then you uh, have to paired three devices and, I, and then you manually switch. Um, I haven't tried to do more than that, but, gotcha. um, and let's take a moment to, you brought two of them, right? Like these are the two new ones, the different colors. Yeah. Do you want to sh take a zoom in to show like each of the, well, have a, you, he didn't even realize he had them on yeah. his ear. They're so good. And then take and put them next to each other just to show yeah. some people just like how they look in close up. Best um, as we can on the colors. They've only come out with two colors so far, or do they have more? That says it plus the kith, which is oh, just a kith. matte, it's like a matte black with, matte black with the um, kith logo on it, which I guess it's the same price. So if that's what you're into. <laughs> and they, I mean, some people, it's funny because these actually, what's sort of nice is they don't have any branding on the outside. Mm -hmm. They just have a little, on the inside, they have the, the Bose logo. So they're, they've toned down the... And they're pretty distinctive, so I, I think people will be able to figure out. And I'm sure someone's going to knock these off. We'll see what uh, Apple's going to come out with. Not Apple, open but earbuds. some. some Just kidding. Yeah, some. some <laughs> Another brand. Uh, but you know, the, look, the one thing you get when you um, they're only certain. They're look a lot of most of these a lot of these earbuds are you know these these sound peats here uh, that you have. Uh, and various other, you know, cheap brands on Amazon. That that even goes, you know, um, for stuff like Soundcore, you know, Anchor. A lot of these are just referenced designs out of factories in China, and they go in and you know they they do their little changes or they these companies, and they're just all the same. And that goes for a lot of the, they're they're a bunch. As I said, there are a lot of clip on. Mm -hmm. um, clip on earbuds on Amazon that are really cheap and they're, they're all, um, seems like they come out of the same factory in, in China. And, uh, they, there's only a few companies that really design their own headphones. Yeah. And so, um, Bose is one of them. Apple's one of them. Uh, and then what are these ones that you brought? I know, I know we are, didn't even take them. Yeah. Yet. These are for a company called clear. These are, um, you know, the case is, oh, really, these are open or these are open like earbuds, earbuds. What these do are you... sport earbuds. These actually sound, these actually sound, these are among the best, best sounding, um, open earbuds, but they're, you know, again, they have, how much are they? Do you know? If these are expensive. These are pretty expensive too. I think they're somewhere in the $200 range, something like that. They look very similar to these shocks ones. Do you think those have better sound than these ones? Slightly better sound, um, but the, the shocks are more comfortable. Mm. Um, and it's also, you know, you can see like these, these have, just turn it this way, just, so but that's the, anyway, oh. this is the driver side. So oh. some of these have really pretty big drivers, that speaker driver in here, because, um, to get, to get any bass with these open earbuds, you kind of need a, a big driver. Gotcha. But these are, you know, um, what's the brand again? 
C-L-E-E-R. Uh, it's kind of big. The little, that's a pretty heavy case. Oh, yeah, that is. But <laughs> Sorry, uh, just... sometimes heavy means, <laughs> heavy means quality. Um, you know, and again, these are, these are the, the original Sonys that kind of made a splash with this, this little hole, the donut hole. And it's a cool, this, this was a cool, innovative design. The one thing about these, this little Sony link, link buds is um, they, some people, because they, they're kind of hard, they bothered people's ears. They weren't a perfect fit. They, they fit my ears really well. Mm -hmm. uh, but some people were like, oh, it causes some pain and stuff like that. So they just weren't a perfect fit for everyone, but they were, for the people they fit, um, this was actually a pretty good earbud. I feel like I didn't realize how many, like Sony has the Link Buds and they have the WF brand. They have too. Link Buds. I think that's the Link Buds S. Or what are these? The WF 1000 mark. Yeah, there's two Link Buds. There's one Link Buds with that are oh, Link actually. Oh, Link Buds S. Yeah, the, the, I think these are Link Buds. Um, and the other ones are just. Um, they're noise isolating earbuds. So those are just regular earbuds, the other link buds. And then let me see. We have a question from Jeff J from YouTube. How have some of these maybe repeated, but some people also have just joined yeah. like just joined us just, just to reiterate some for questions. Um, how have you found the call quality for the Bose Ultra Open earbuds? They, you know, I, I said this earlier, but basically um, they worked pretty well for me. Uh, we did a sample call and I was in a really noisy environment. And, you know, I think there's a little bit of, it, 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 they did a good job um, with the noise reduction and my voice was pretty clear. I maybe sounded slightly ro robotic or, you know, you get that kind of digitized, you know. Um, so there's a lot of uh, algorithms going on to, to get rid of the background noise and then pick up your voice. And that's a trick to make it sound more natural. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so what happened was I was testing these um, and uh, I was, I called an editor. He's like, ah, you, you sound really, you sound really good. You sound pretty good. And then I called them with the Sony uh, pulse elite wireless yeah. over ear headphone with a boom microphone. And he was like, Whoa, those are, incredible <laughs> you know so it's sort of a baseline and, and they just those took out all the background noise my voice sounded clear um and so it's really kind of a, a baseline of what you compare them to i think you know with um the sony uh over the ear headphones the wh 1000 x mark fives were really good for making calls the airpods pro 2 were kind of the gold standard for for making calls so you're trying to compare that to these i think these can get better um some people you'll see online say oh the you know call quality suck people say they can't they can't hear me uh again they worked pretty well for me i think they're gonna i think bose will actually tweak the the sound quality in the year to come mm -hmm. uh for both the the quiet comfort ultras uh their earbuds they're gonna be some firmware upgrades as i said so they all this is just software algorithms that, that allow you that, that allow you to pick up your voice while reducing the background noise and sometimes you'll see sometimes with bose um if you're not talking um people will say like i can't hear any i can't hear any background noise that i can't hear any background noise the trick is while you're talking to also be able to reduce the background noise because it's easy to do it when you're not talking mm -hmm. so uh, but I think there's there's some improvements, but they they were pretty good, and you can hear that you can hear the sample call on on the in the YouTube video, and you know some people could say you know it sounded like I was in a room, but my maybe my voice sounded a little bit more slightly robotic. People yeah. are pretty people are very critical of how how your how these calls sound. <laughs> some people are like yeah that's that's really good. Some people are like wow you you that sucks. And then you end up just disconnecting and putting the phone right to your head. Yeah, no, I'm just <laughs> so, saying. Even I'm just, I'm just, I just yeah. look at the you look at the YouTube comments and you're like, that, that call sucked. And some people are like, oh, that yeah, that sounds pretty good, you know. So everyone has different standards yeah. too. But um, also from TikTok, Caden Pie wanted to know Sony or Bose, Bose for all day comfort. Uh, I mean, these are probably going to be these are going to be more comfortable for all day wear because they're really designed they to just hang on your ear. Yeah, you just kind of forget about them, and they they're. I mean, with any, you know, look, any noise isolating in-ear buds um, that, that you put in your ears, 
after a while like they can bother some people some people get like are like weirdly allergic to like the the silicone and and they get ear they were like samsung some people were getting like ear infections you know weird stuff like that from the and so some people just cannot wear um those the silicone tips in their ears um and these are these are geared to people who just want them to kind of have a you know again yeah. a, a, a speaker floating um right above their of the other ear yeah. and so that design you know i think that's where bose put a lot of thought into the design is a lot of these the, the clip-on type buds that you'll see on amazon for like 30 bucks it's a hard it's hard all the way around so it just kind of it kind of it's a little like almost like a little clamshell mm. and then just kind of you clip it onto your ear and it, it's it's not you know it i tried them on there some is you know they're they're not they're some of them are pretty comfortable but they the idea of having this this soft piece in the middle to adjust for various ear sizes i think is is one of the innovations here 100 percent. and um I think this uh, this will probably be the last question I'll take, and then uh, I'll have you wrap up a little bit of the just ending talking on those. Sure. But um, not related to the open um, earbuds. Um, Ashad Youssef from YouTube wants to know: I was using the Bose Ultra for two days, and I lost connection with my phone two times so far. Have you experienced this? Like phone um, issues, with the Bose Ultra, he says the Bose Ultra. The the ones I'm wearing, the ones that I have on. I guess. Um, he says he was using them. Are people able to buy these? And yeah, yeah, they are. So uh, there should have been a firmware upgrade if he's if he's done that. Uh, I did see some complaints. I did not have any issues with my phone disconnecting, but right before my review um, posted, Bose sent out um, an email to me saying, "Like, hey, there's a firmware upgrades. There, we've had some reports of some bugs." And I think you, I mean, I think there'll be multiple firmware upgrades. I, what I would say is like, if it keeps happening and, you, and you've and you done the firmware upgrade, then you should return them because they, they're usually, um, you know, there is a, a fairly long return time on these, uh, certainly 30 days, depending on where you bought them. So and you're paying $300 yeah, for them. You it, it want could, good. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, they shouldn't, they definitely shouldn't do that. And, but there was, there were some initial bugs. So look, you have to look for the, um, there is a firmware upgrade and, and so you, you know, you download the app and it should be there. Yeah, there you have it. Um, and just to, let me see. That's the Bose music app and it's for iOS and Android. Okay. Okay. We'll take one more question All before right. we wrap up. Sorry. We have like three more minutes. We're going to be here till two. Um, from Instagram, Sharis100, you kind of mentioned these again, but I guess maybe you're just joining us um, for the wrap up. But um, uh, from Instagram, Sharis100 wants to know, how do you compare Bose Ultra, Open Ultra to the older Bose Sport Open? I've seen reviews mentioning that the previous one was louder and better, but what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I think that actually did have good sound quality, and I think these have 12 millimeter drivers, and I think those also had 12 millimeter drivers. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, I think these sound a little bit better than those, um, and I think the design is obviously better. So, it, it, but neither were good for noisy environments. Uh, but I did, you know, I don't, I don't think there was, I don't think that one sounded any any better i mean it is a little bit of a different design maybe it covered it sort of sat at the top of your ear too and fired sound in uh but i would i personally prefer these mm, gotcha you heard that first and okay so then we'll um just to wrap up again this was david carnoy um our mobile audio expert with so much experience all his articles are on cnet.com and you can see all of his reviews um on earbuds headphones on our instagram tiktok and youtube for the more longer form versions and more detailed um ones uh we were covering the bose open ultra earbuds ultra open earbuds uh, <laughs> i don't even know but uh three hundred dollars they um, a little too expensive for most people and but hopefully they will as i said i they'll they should go on sale yeah. fairly soon and hopefully go down to 200. <laughs> yes, and the battery, um, 
and they do not have multi-point connectivity and they no wireless charging no um, wireless charging uh battery life is for 7.5 so water volume 7.5 hours decent decent battery life but it depends on how loud yes. that you play music um and no like touch controls it's just by a button that's how it works just to wrap up some things about these. Yeah, so immersive audio so it has head tracking and stuff like that so, so it does have some fancy features you which you would hope for 300 dollars they would have <laughs> and they sound and again for open earbuds they're um, among the top sounding out there i haven't heard um you know with these you often lose some bass there's just not enough bass and these, at least in quieter environments, um, do a pretty good job with the bass. And they actually sound like very decent sounding earbuds in quieter environments. Bigger problem in noisy environments. Yeah. Well, on the subway. That's why he was using on the subway probably the Bose. The quiet comfort, comfort ones. ones. If, you don't, if you haven't noticed, the quiet comfort is the noise canceling brand of Bose. So now they've, they've, they've uh, in terms of names, they've gone to this ultra name for both for their headphones their earbuds, um, their their noise canceling earbuds, and now these open earbuds. Gotcha. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I know you got in on on a flight thanks at three a.m. Thanks for all the good questions. Yeah, thanks so much, everyone, for asking us questions. We're eventually going to wrap. We're pretty much wrapping this up. Maybe we'll bring him back for headsets or headphones. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for another Instagram Q and A live, but and everyone's audio tastes are different. Everyone hears sound differently and they have different ears. So what? It's subjective. I try to give everyone a base, mm -hmm. um, but everyone hears things differently. A hundred percent. And there are still good, more affordable options on Amazon. He has best lists for more affordable options on CNET.com. And yeah, I'm Tara. This is David. And thanks for joining us. And yeah, we, we can stop this now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. Thank you.